Hello and welcome to the North Somerset Dementia Roadmap Tour. This screen shows you the national portal where users can access all of the local dementia roadmaps that have been set up. In this case there are three local roadmaps that are available in the southwest: Devon, North Somerset and South Gloucestershire. Today we're going to look at the North Somerset Dementia Roadmap in detail. This screen shows the home page of the North Somerset Dementia Roadmap. As we scroll down, we can see that there are seven topics reflected on the left hand side of the screen. These are available on every page of the roadmap. They're repeated on the home page in the main body. Um, we can see there the topics, the headings with descriptions explaining to users what they can expect to see in these sections. All of the content that's in the roadmap is organized within um, these topic areas. And you'll notice looking at the topics on, on the left hand side and their names, they're, they're designed to reflect the dementia journey. Um, moving from uh, awareness or understanding uh, about dementia, perhaps people who have concerns or worried about their memory, um, through to the diagnostic process, post-diagnosis support, living well with dementia, a section on carer health, and finally planning for the future. As we move down the home page, past the description of the topics, we can see a collection of resources and groups. All of the uh, information that's held on the roadmap is either a, a resource, that's something like uh, clinical guidance, useful fact sheets, clinical support tools, or groups, you know, local support groups and services, and some national uh, groups and services that people will find helpful. Here on the home page we can type in a postcode, for example, let's type in a, a Western postcode, BS24, and hit enter and we'll find that the groups displayed in that list change uh, and it now shows a list of the groups that are closest to the postcode that I've entered. I'm just going to scroll back up the home page and we're going to explore some of these topics in more detail. So let's have a look at understanding. Uh, dementia. When we arrive at the topic page, Understanding Dementia, we can see that further subtopics such as early stages, later stages, mild cognitive impairment and unusual behaviours are revealed on the left hand side. In the main body of the page we have an image followed by a description um, explaining what this section um, is about. So it's telling people that, that we can use this section to find out more about uh, different types of dementia, dementia at different stages, um, the different symptoms and that type of thing. And as we scroll down we can see a variety of resources and groups in this section which people will find interesting. So I'm going to have a look um, at the Dementia e-learning sessions. Okay, so this is a an interactive e-learning resource, uh, an e-learning program which will support um, practitioners um, to recognize, assess and manage dementia. So you can see the description, you've got the URL there uh, that users can click on. And then further down we've got some the, the top details of the topic that this was posted in and further details about the resource, so the author, the publisher and the format. Now let's go and have another look at um, one of the other sections. So we're moving into the diagnostic process. Once again we've got uh, an image and a description. And over here on the left hand side we've got some resources. This time I'm going to have a look at the North Somerset Dementia Pathway. Uh, so here's an example of a resource which is very specific to uh, North Somerset. As I said we've got information about resources and groups. Um, some of those uh, resources, particularly the resources, are going to be available through all of the roadmaps. Um, however, there are some uh, pieces of information, such as this one, which are very specific and unique to North Somerset and therefore will only be available through this particular roadmap. So here we've got the title and the description and people can download the, um, the pathway. And you've got some further details about the resource. Okay, let's go back then and have a look at a, another resource. 
in this section. What about this one? Helping you to assess cognition. This is a practical toolkit published by the Alzheimer Society which provides guidance to clinicians about what cognitive function tests are available and how they may be used in clinical practice. And um, this, I guess this particular resource is an example of a national resource that would be available uh, to all. But this also highlights this resource that the uh, it, the, the type of resources that are in the roadmap really reflect the fact that the main audience um, is uh, staff uh, working in primary care, such as GPs, nurses, dementia navigators, practice managers, and these are the, the very people, if you like, that are going to need to, to use the cognitive um, assessment uh, tools that this particular resource is talking about. Okay, let's move forward now and have a look at another section. Here we can have a look at post diagnosis support. Once again, we've got an image with a description of what we mean by post-diagnosis support. And this time we're going to have a look at some, some groups. Let's have a look at the Dementia Support Workers Service. Okay, this uh, particular service includes workers who help people with dementia carers and families to improve their understanding of dementia and to maintain their independence so that they can live well with dementia. And one of the main things you'll notice that uh, di distinguishes a group from a resource is the fact that we have the contact details of the group over on the right hand side here. So when we've got an address, that address is plotted on a map, telephone numbers, email, uh, website where appropriate. Now let's go and have a look at um, another one. How about we select Singing for the Brain in Clevedon? Okay, here's information about a support group, which is a structured, structured group sessions using music um, for people with dementia and their families and carers. This um, is taking place, as we can see, over in a local Methodist church in Clevedon. And we've got the details of the times that the group is running and um, telephone numbers and, and such like. Such like. One of, the, one of the reasons for coming down here to the bottom of the page, I'm just going to show you wh when we see these uh, topics or we see the further information about the group down the bottom, users can click on these to view collections. In this case, let's click on this location, Clevedon. And what this will do is show us a collection of all of the uh, groups or services that are available in that particular locality. So they're, they're quite a useful uh, way of users being able to move through the site in different ways. I'm just going to show you finally um, some of the searching facilities. Let's search for memory cafes as an example. We get a list of memory cafes um, that we can see. Or we can do something more specific. Let's, uh, I don't know, search for assessment of cognition. And here we can see details of the general practitioner assessment of c cognition and once again if we use these additional resources at the bottom if I click on this cognitive test I can see all of the resources that are in the roadmap that are have the format cognitive test and finally let's do another search this time I'm looking for a very specific group I know about Motex Equipment and Demonstration Center and I was just going to show you this because I wanted to demonstrate the responsive design. Let me just move that over there and get rid of that. And that. Okay. Now, where was I? That's right. I'm trying to show how this particular site responds. So, what I'm doing here is I'm mimicking the um, the screen width, in this case, screen width of a tablet device such as a, a, an iPad or, or something like that, or right down to the very bottom level, uh, this is the smallest screen width, so this mimics what the roadmap would look like on a, on a mobile phone. And so here you can see what I mean by responsive design. We've come up with a design which will respond to the width of the device which is being used to view the roadmap. So if I increase that size, we can see that we've got something like the menu is available up there so it's hidden away and people can get to it in that way. 
and that was very important um, part of the design process for us because the people, um, the, the GPs and other primary care staff that helped design the roadmap told us that they were going to use it on uh, other devices than just a desktop, primarily uh, tablets and also mobile phones. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed um, this whirlwind tour and I'll be putting up more tours and other useful guides on using the roadmap in the near future.